Today I want to invite you to do a lesson with us. This summer we are doing a big space unit. Um, we're using Little School of Smiths for her Me and My Place in Space. So homeschooling in the summer is a great time to practice math and language arts skills to maintain and upkeep throughout the summer. But we also use the summer to go through a topic or a study that we've wanted to study or I've wanted to teach and go through with my kids, but I just didn't have time during the regular school year. So last year we did a big state study. So we went through all the 50 states through books and films and um, artwork and recipes even, and we got to just kind of go through each state and take our time with it because we had more time in the summer. And this year we are doing a big space unit and we're using Little School of Smiths, Me and My Place in Space. And I wanna invite you to do a lesson with us today. Um, it's even more special because we are doing it with our cousins. And so this unit is full of hands-on activities and a lot of crafting and books and videos and just very, um, fun and enjoyable and I think having our cousins do it with us is motivating for me to pull out all the art materials and to um, do it bigger than I normally would in a school year. Do you remember what the, how to memorize the order of the planets? Oh. Yeah. Yes. You want to say it least? They're very enthusiastic but they just are dust noodles. And then what is the order of the planets? Mm -hmm. Mercury. Venus. Mm. Off. Mars. <laughs> Jupiter. Saturn. Uh, you'll like this. Neptune. <laughs> Neptune. Good job, Neptune. guys. So last week we did the moon. We're going to keep doing the moon because we did not get to finish um, everything last time. And we ate marshmallows last week. Uh -huh. And there was another snacky craft, but it was another sweet thing. So I didn't want to, we're going to spread out the sweets. So we get to do that one today. So this is my first space encyclopedia. So we're going to read about the sun first, OK? Our sun is a, is it a planet? No. no it's, a it's a star. It's a star. But it's closer to us than any other star. Like all stars, it is a massive ball of burning gas fed by constant explosions in its core. There's constantly little explosions, not little, but explosions happening on the sun. Without it, our planet would be lifeless. <gasps> it's so hot. You the size of the earth. Oh, do you see here? That's the yeah. size of the Earth compared to the Sun. What? Uh, right? Like it looks like it's smaller, but it's is it that like if it's that close, it's like if it's next to the Sun, it's this big. What? Uh, it's crazy, oh, right? And it, we're here living on this little one. Because it looks like a blob. Yeah, it does. It looks like one of those uh, the spots. Oldies. It looks like a spot. Yeah, okay. a false color image such as this allows a astronomers to identify different features on the sun's surface. It takes the sun's heat about eight minutes to reach the earth. Okay, let me show you a video that will help us understand. Yeah! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know, we don't often think about the sun. You're right, unless it's shining right in our faces. But it makes you think, what is the sun really? Hey, did I hear someone ask a question about the sun? Oh, hi, Sam. It is the study of things that are in space. Things like other planets, the moon, and the stars. This is gonna be our pretend solar system. <laughs> Here's Sam, do you wanna make a sun with, for me? So you're gonna make it flat, but not like a paper flat. Kind of Which a little bit thicker. Is the best one? Smooth as possible. You missed the part. Okay, so go ahead, flatten it up. <laughs> there you go. Good. And then okay, now you're going to stick that in the middle of the pie plate. And let it be the sun. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, right in the center. Oh, it's it's flat. flat. All right, now that's Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Let's take um, turns. Jackson, you want to go first? So you're going to tilt the plate and let the Earth orbit the sun. So the orbit is the path around the sun, right? Okay, okay Jackson, go ahead. Think, just tilt, tilt it around and let it orbit the sun <laughs> over and over. <laughs> One year, Whoa. two years, Whoa. three years, yeah. well, five, years. five years. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, it's a skit. It's it's a car. It's a it's a Mario car. <laughs> 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 so you just 
flooded. <laughs> Maybe flatten it. Flatten it. <laughs> Did everyone get to try? Yes. yes. So I have two bowls. We're gonna take turns. Um, I'll have. Let me let me actually go Lucy Jackson first, and then switch to you guys. So we're gonna trace. Turn it over upside down like Lucy. Can I just trace it like you're gonna trace it. Stop. This is gonna be our sun. So do you remember how we made our books? Yes. That is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add the moon. Oh, not the moon. Uh -huh. we're gonna add the sun. Mm -hmm. I did it, Mama. Every <laughs> planet that we make is gonna have a different art that we use. So last time we used a foil ball to make the moon, right? Mm -hmm. And it made all these textures. I love this one. Mm -hmm. All the textures. This one is Lucy. Yeah! And then today we're gonna make the sun, but we're gonna do a different art medium. Yay! Yay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. We're Let's using zip lock box? Wait, what? Wait, what? We are. Here, right. You're gonna help me? One interesting fact I learned about the planet Sun. The size of the Sun is like a basketball and the Earth is like a pillow. Yeah, that's okay though. One interesting fact I learned about the planet Sun. Solar flares the blasts of hot gas sometimes flare up. So we just finished painting our Sun and now we are making, updating our solar system facts book. So they've been starting this each week you are to create another planet, but the first one is the moon, and this was made with like foil and silver paint, no, gray paint. Um, and the cool thing is each unit we're adding to it, and each planet uses a different art medium to create um, the planet. And so today we did the sun, so that's drawing right now. We, we just did that with the Ziploc bags, and now they're adding their fun fact to the bottom of it. Check it out. So what you're gonna do yourselves is glue and Lucy. You're gonna glue. Put it right here. You're gonna glue your moon in the center, exactly. Like right yeah. yeah. Like yeah. that, right, yeah. Mama? Right in the middle. Like, like so. So, so that you can see, see it like nicely that. in the hole. Okay. okay. Can I glue it? Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, hold on. The waxing crescent, the first quarter moon, waxing given, and then that's the full moon. Full moon. moon. Okay. And we could see it shine bright, right? The waning given. Last quarter. So you discuss it with Harrison. Who's uh, gonna do new moon? Hey, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do moon. No. I did one too. I'll do full I did moon. waxing given. So that means I eat this one? I'll do the, uh, and I'll do the waning. Okay. Waning crescent. This one. This one. This one. Uh, yes. Okay, we're gonna finish up. What is it called? Midnight, Midnight on the, the Moon. moon. Yes, Bad, chapter seven. Bad. The Moon Man. But then they fell, and Annie and Jack fell, and it's like there's no way they can get up, and then Annie said, Moon Man is right beside me. Oh yeah, the stranger was coming. Yes. Refrigerator. <laughs> Whoa! Is <laughs> yeah. tiny Earth is? <laughs> really tiny. Whoa! You are really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> That's a mouse. Said Andy. Jack touched the each M thing in turn as he whispered, "Moonstone, mango, mammoth bone, mouse." 
Let's say it over and over and see what happens, said Annie. Together they chanted, Moonstone, mango, mango, mouse. Moonstone, mango, mango, mouse. Suddenly a bright light filled the treehouse. The light got brighter and brighter and brighter. So Me and My Place in Space has 10 units all together and we're doing this about once a week and we just finished unit three. So fun, so many hands-on activities, great for little kids with busy hands. And Lindsay from Little School of Smiths has graciously offered a discount code for you if you wanna check out this study or her anatomy study or any of her American Girl history studies. Thanks for following along today in our space study. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another lesson in another subject. And also I will link our summer homeschool plans with all the things we're doing this summer as well as our curriculum choices for the 2023-2024 school year. I hope to see you on Instagram at Juicebox Homeschool and thank you for joining us today.